We're asked to find the grams of chlorine prepared from 30 grams of HCl and excess MnO2. The balance equation is also provided. So the first thing we need to do is to find out what we have, which is 30 grams of HCl. And what does the question wants us to find? That's going to be the grams of Cl2. Since we're dealing with two different substances, HCl and Cl2, I'm just going to call them A and B respectively. So our starting point is what we have and our ending point is what the question wants. Next, we're going to tag our start and end point on our stoichiometry plan. I've posted video in the Stoichiometry 101 series. Do check it out if you haven't seen it. I go through in detail on how the plan is developed and how to use it to solve stoichiometry problems. So based on the question, our start point is grams A and our end point is grams B. Looking at the plan, it's going to take three steps to go from grams of A to grams of B. So we're now ready to set up the solution. In step 1, we'll go from grams A to mole A and in step 2, we'll go from mole A to mole B. And in step 3, which is the final step, we'll go from mole B to grams B. A in this case, again, is HCl. B in this case is Cl2. A is what we're given. B is what we need to find. Step 1 is to divide the given mass, which is 30 grams, with the molar mass of A. A is HCl, so that comes out to be 36.458 grams per mole. So if you need a refresher on calculating molar mass, I'll link the video up top. So we take 30 grams divide with 36.458 grams per mole and we get 0.8229 mole. What we have just calculated is mole A, which is mole of HCl. Moving on to the second step, we're supposed to multiply what we got from step 1 with the coefficient ratio. So from the balance equation, coefficient B is the number in front of Cl2, which is 1. Coefficient A is the number in front of HCl, which is 4. So we take 0.8229 mole and we multiply with 1, divide by 4, and that gives us 0.2057 mole. That's the mole of Cl2. In the third and final step, we're going to need to multiply what we got from step 2 with the molar mass of B, which in this case is 70.9 grams per mole for Cl2. Notice that when we calculated the molar mass in step 1, that was for HCl, and for step 3, that's the molar mass for Cl2. So we take 0.2057 and multiply with 70.9 and that gives us 14.6 grams. That's the grams of Cl2, which is what the question wants us to find. Hope the video helps. Do subscribe and thanks for watching.